Hi there. Today we're going to be having a look at a really cool little device from a company called SM Light in the Ukraine. Now this is a Zigbee coordinator which can also do matter over thread as well as Bluetooth. So having a look at these devices, they can be connected directly via Ethernet, offering power over Ethernet, as well as Wi-Fi or USB. As you can see, there's quite a range of these devices. The one that we're going to be having a look at today is this one, the SL zb 6 m So this device has a huge antenna in comparison to some of the other devices that I've been using. And as you can see, it's got a plus 5 dB rating on the antenna, as well as a plus 20 dB rating on the amplifier. So I'm expecting this product to give me a really good connection for my USB devices. One of the other really cool functionalities about this is that it can operate over the internet. So you could effectively have your home assistant operating at one house and have a, another unit connected at another house and operating a whole lot of different Zigbee devices remotely from that house. So the device is about 15 centimeters in length and the antenna is approximately another 12 centimeters long. As you can see, lots of ventilation spaces all over the casing. On the one side over here, we've got our USB-C import. And on the other side at the back here, we've got our Ethernet cable. Um, we also have a button on the top over here, which can be used to change the modes on this device. Getting started with the device is super simple. All you do is go along to your modem, find out what the address of this device is, then you paste that into your browser and it will open up this amazing control panel which offers you so much information and control over this device. So as you can see, we've got all the general information. I'm currently running this in USB mode as I'm going to connect it directly to my home assistant on my Raspberry Pi via a USB connection, although we also have the option to connect it via Wi-Fi. Um, so on this side, you can see exactly the two radios. We've got the Zigbee radio as well as the core radio. And what's amazing about this, it even offers you temperature on each of these two devices. It also shows us here which our firmware version is. Now, this is important because in initially when I connected this device up, I had some problems with the devices staying connected. And then I realized I needed to do a firmware version update. And I'll show you how that works. If we scroll down here, we can see that it's connected to the Ethernet at the moment. And we can also see our Wi-Fi status. I'm currently not connected to Wi-Fi. Next component here is the modes. So we can select here what we want to use this device for. So it could be a Zigbee coordinator, which is what I'm currently using it for but you can also connect this up as a Zigbee router or a meta over thread. Now this is in beta at the moment. I haven't tested this yet because I don't have any thread devices. So I look forward to trying that out in the future. We've got our modes here. These can either be selected by using the button on the device or by changing them in this section. Moving over to our networking options, you can see we can set up Wi-Fi and Ethernet options over here. Now this device, it seems, has been designed specifically with ZHA and Zigbee to MQTT when they were thinking about this, which is really, really great. So currently I'm going to be running it in the ZHA mode, but Zigbee to MQTT is fully supported on this device. Um, security, we can lock down the web access once this is operating by clicking these little sliding buttons over here. Now, it does have the wire guard settings over here, which is for setting up a remote connection. The final section we've got here is our settings and tools. So we've got general settings over here, and this is where you can flash it to upgrade it. Uh, sorry, that's the firmware where we can update it. Now, this is how I did an update myself. I went check for core updates. It will then check to see, as you can see, I've updated to 2.36, which is the latest operating system. 
It's very easy to upgrade. You just press this button and it will do the upgrade for you immediately. Now you can even upgrade the Zigbee radio. We just close this over here. We can check for Zigbee updates. We can see which version we're running and we can run direct updates from the system without having to do any messing around. We've also got adjustments for our LEDs so we can control whether those LEDs are on or not and what they're actually displaying as a status. Here we can set our time zones and finally we've got a system log to see exactly what's going on here. We also have an about section over here which offers you all the device manuals at your fingertips and all of these are very much catered to connecting it up to Home Assistant. So I'm not going to try and migrate my devices. I'm just going to delete the old network and I'm going to set up the new SM Lite Zigbee coordinator. So I'm going to go along here. As you can see, I've plugged it out already. I've plugged the new one in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the old one, get rid of it all. There we go. And then I'm going to add a new integration for Zigbee. So I'm going to go along to Home Assistant over there. I'm going to go add Zigbee integration, open link. And it says, do I want to set up Zigbee Home Automation? I'm going to say yes. And it's already picked up my new SM Lite. So there we go. We're going to submit that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase all settings and create a brand new network. So there we go. It's configured the new network. And what's pretty awesome is it's gone and it's picked up all of these devices already. So I can now go along and I can just select the areas for these devices and we can go from there. I'm not going to set them all up now. We can do that later, but I'm going to finish that off. And let's see what our Zigbee network is looking like. There we go. You can see it's already picked up quite a few of those devices. So having a look at the visualization of my Zigbee network, you can see that a lot of the devices are already connected, but there are some devices that are not connected. So I'll need to repair these. But overall, I'm really, really impressed with this device. I think it's going to give me a much more strong and stable Zigbee network. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for joining me today. And if you've enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe so I can create many more great videos for you.